I'm at Shore Tackle in Graysonville, and word on the water is, this is the place to go for custom rod design. So I went digging inside my dad's garage to find one of his old rods, see if we can get it fixed up, maybe get a design on it or something. I'm standing here with Bill, and I hear, Bill, you're the guy I talk to. I have his problem. So this is my dad's rod. It needs a little work. I can see it's missing some stuff, and I don't know. Is there anything you can do with stuff like this? Sure. Yeah, that's our core business is we work on, you know, building fishing rods and fixing the ones you break. This is missing a guide, so we could definitely put a, put a guide back on that for you. Here's some rods for customers that we, you know, they've, we've got them glued up, glued together. They're ready to, to wrap. I'll show you that process over there in a second. We also do a lot of rod repairs, um, like the one you walked in from your um, dad with. So we do them. That's what these are set here. And I'm going to show you quick, um, you know, just wrapping a guide on. This is a rod that we're currently building. And this is, a lot of people think it's tape that holds guides on when you buy the rods. It's really not. It's all individual thread work that we do. That's meticulous work, man. I would have messed up easily by now. Yeah, it takes a little bit of patience and time. It's called a whip. You just put your whip in, wrap it three or four times, sort of like when we're making, working with ropes and stuff on the boat. Hold it tight, pull your whip out, it pulls it back underneath of it. That's what kind of holds it, snip the long end off. And that's, you know, basically it. Yeah, this set of rods here we're going, and this is actually for a women's um, angling team. It's called the Women Offshore Alliance. We're doing these for them for the White Marlin Open that's getting ready to take place. Oh, okay. This is the core color we start with, the black, but we put the pigment on it, so when this rod is done, um, it's going to be the pink camouflage. Nice. That's what they want. So you can pretty much do almost anything with design, right? Colors yeah, from and... a design, here's some other designs we do. You know, from green to blue to this one we call a mahi pattern. You know, right. that's, that's a very popular one. Um, we also do boat colors. You know, if it, you've got certain colors on your boat or um, we do thread work, you know, we can do it all with the different color threads and all you see that we have right. here. So you make it all match? And... Yeah, so we make it match and look good for the guys on the boat. Yeah, it all looks good, and you may look easy. It's very important to know that that's actually, <laughs> well, it it's not a, as easy as it looks. <laughs> right, it just takes a while. Once you learn how to where to place your fingers is the, mm -hmm. the key thing. We bring guys in, because I have an open, what we call an open shop, um, so different rod builders come in and we'll work with them starting oh, out. Okay. And just watch them struggling, um, trying yeah. <laughs> for something like, I, Everything is easy after you know how to do it. Right. Um, but watch them struggling with the fingers and the thumbs and trying to grab stuff. It's like once they learn where to put your fingers and how mm -hmm. to put it, it makes it easy. Well, if it's all the same to you, I'm just going to pay you to do it. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> so while you were back there, I got a chance to look around. You have so many great items. So when I get to come back and pick up the rod, I'll bring my wallet and I'll get some of the stuff on my dad's boat, the SS Gravy Train. <laughs>